Are you growing some fruit trees? Do you want to use mulch? Why use mulch? And which one to use? Stefan Sapkowiak here and with Frank Tutin this week, we're going to be mulching some of our fruit trees. Is mulching important? Well, it's especially important for young fruit trees. These trees are 40 years old now. And is it important for them? Yeah, it's still important. You see, there isn't much in the way of mulch underneath these trees. In fact, there's nothing left. They were mulched a couple years ago with some wood chips, but not since. So we're going to be putting some chips under these trees and show you a technique that works pretty good. So we're able to get in here with, uh, with the trailer and the, the tractor to bring a load. And wood chips is something that, hey, every chance you got, go snag it, take it. Are they offering it? Is there a truck in the neighborhood? Yes, then get it and get it dumped in your driveway. So that's what Frank got. Somebody was cutting up an old ash tree and all the branches got chipped up. So yes, we want wood chips. We always want wood chips. We can't get any around here. It always costs between $50 and $100 for a small eight cubic meter load. So get it when you can. Almost ready to go load, put these chips down. We'll show you how. So a smart way to load them was to take the bags off, put the bags, because that's what we're gonna put on them, and then the chips in the bottom. And this is one way to transport. Obviously you can do it in bulk, but hey, this way works well. So what do you do, Frank? First step, put down a bag. And then on top of that, you're gonna put chips in the second bag, those on the other side. And the bags help smother the grass. There's two, and then on the other side, there's two more. So when you put it down as a bag, you get four ply. Now that's not gonna decompose very quickly, and it's gonna smother the grass when it's weighed down with chips. And later on this year, it'll be laid down with snow on top of the chips and everything will get smashed down nicely. So that's the equivalent of more than four layers of newspaper because this is yeah, craft paper, much tougher. Heavy craft paper. In a perfect situation, we'd put one more here and another one there. So we'd have four bags to go completely around the tree. Eh, hey, the more you can go, the better. We're trying to do part of a whole orchard here. So we never have we never have enough chips or we never have enough bags to do the job for the whole orchard. In fact, you could even go one bag more that way and one bag more on this side so that you can really give the tree root zone uh, a mulching all around. So the bags are down. The next step, I'm going to take a couple of uh, forkfuls first to lighten the load before you try to pick up the whole box and hurt your back. Now, can you do that? Pretty simple. Doesn't have to be too complicated. But that will create a couple of spots where the grass is really kept down. I guess two bags is the equivalent of about a square yard or square meter. And it's always a question of how much chips you have. Certainly if you could put eight or ten inches here, that would be wonderful. That would be a great luxury. But it's amazing how even just this amount and having two or three inches, you know, six or eight centimeters of wood chips already will have an effect, but it will only last for part of next spring. By next summer, it will be gone. And in fact, research has shown that there, every week in the spring that you have the effect of basically herbicide, because they studied it with herbicide to say, how important to do it sooner rather than later. And every week made a, a difference in the yield of the trees. So the sooner in the spring you can have this done, the better. So if we can do it in the fall, that's even better, as long as the effect lasts until the summer. So now that the tub is lighter, we can just spread the rest. So one tub is used for two bags. And it's not perfect, like I said, it would be better if we did that. But we're trying to give a little bit of good to each tree rather than just a few trees get real luxury. A 
And just to give you a bit of a primer on wood chips, we call it wood chips. The real technical term would be remedial branch fragments or pieces of branches. And the definition you want for good wood chips for tree use is a branch that's two inches in diameter or less. Anything that's that size chipped up is really what you want. It's a question of the ratio of the amount of bark to the amount of inside wood. The bark is where all the nutrition is in a branch. Inside, it's just carbon. So the more branch or the more bark to inside, the better the wood chips would be. If you can get all just small, small branches like, like this here, obviously that would be the best. Once it gets to two inches, usually they cut it off, and, but they can often chip bigger than that. So the best is the smallest branches. We're not talking about whole tree chips here. That's not what we call wood chips for landscape use. Whole tree where they're chipping a whole trunk. You know, if you took this apple tree and you chipped it up, that's not what we're talking about here. That's too much inner wood to the amount of bark. So try to get that good balance. Don't be too technical. Chipping crews that are pruning branches is really the stuff you want. People say, oh, isn't it gonna tie up your nitrogen? And No, if you put it on the surface. Branches and tree trunks always fall. They're not buried, they're just laying on top of the ground. That's all you want. You wanna put it on top. In fact, we put it uh, leaf bags, but you could put cardboard. Cardboard works great. You could put newspaper. Anything like that, what it's doing is it's, it's helping to smother the grass underneath and keeps the grass down much more. If you just put chips, and I guess I'll show you just chips. So the idea of the paper or the bags or the newspaper or cardboard is it helps give it a smother and then put the chips on top. Gives a much longer lasting result and a better result right from the start. So for example, if you have here the bag and there no bag, and you put a whole fork full, you can see that you have virtually lost your chips because the grass is not smothered. If you wanted a little bit more effect, you'd have to knock the grass down and then chip over it. But the bag or cardboard does a much better job. Is it hard to get wood chips, Frank? Southern Quebec, no, because there's an awful lot of dead ash trees and they have to be taken down. They're glad to have a fast dump site where you live instead of taking it miles for some other place, whether they have to pay or not, it's a, it's a whole lot of their time. And future generations will look back and say, oh, your wood chips were free? Lucky you. Yeah, well, yep. lucky us. Be smart, take advantage of your good luck and take all the chips you can get. Yeah, we've never been able to get free chips here for years anymore. So it doesn't need to be perfect, just get it done. And there's not a lot of trees, we got eight trees done. But this little bit will make a difference for these trees. So the lesson here is just get it done. Add something is better than nothing. You know what we say, if you put some, it's mulch better than not putting some. Thanks for watching! Intrigued? Check out the virtual tour of the Permaculture Orchard. Have trees already? Pruningcourse.com Subscribe, please! Check out some of the other videos or playlists. There's more to come. Stay tuned. Bye! Have a great week. See you next time. Bye. Hey, Bo, do you say bye?